I've been riding around a fair bit lately, you know, just riding, just getting from A to B. Like, I'm not talking about your middle management peloton that heads down to the coast on the weekend. You know, the guys that, I'm 55 years old and I'm going to wear Lycra. You're like, cool, I'm going to pour acetamide. Hope I don't see that. That is great. You will know as a cyclist, on the roads, you are the lowest ranking officer. Like, I understand I've got to give way to cars, trucks, but man, even pedestrians are like, piss off! Like, it's amazing. People just walk out in the bike lanes. People open their car doors in the bike lanes. Like, you know those little pictures on the road that indicate bike lanes? They're not that at all. They're just chalk outlines of cyclists that never made it. It is <laughs> cutthroat. But I realised as a cyclist is I don't judge anyone on the bike that they're riding. I could not care less for your steed, Squire. But I do judge people on the equipment they're wearing while they're riding. Because I'm all for safety, but you know when you clock the dude and it's always a dude. He's wearing the fluoro cross vest. He's got the helmet and he's bought those tags from Bunnings and they're just poking out the top. Because Ibis can swoop, they're quite aggressive this time of year. They can be quite treacherous. They got the fluoro ankle bracelets, the orange flag out back. I'm like, what do you think, you're lost at sea? Do you need a light and a whistle? Is that how this works? But if I see someone riding along in construction high-vis, my first thought is, lost your license drink driving. All right. <laughs>